it, and I said to him, it's not steel, it's stainless steel. <laughs> yeah, I'll go start. Oh, come on. So we're going to do this again, are we? Let's try it this time. Hopefully my neighbor doesn't take that. I need that for a Yes Water video. some of the parts. Now, my dogs love to snorkel in their water bowl. I don't know if anybody else has this issue, but for some reason, it's something they like to do and it makes a mess. So, I'm going to make a self-watering bowl. I saw a couple online and they're just too small. We have three big dogs. So, here's what I got. And this is a little pump for a fishbowl. It is a, it says model GD034B submersible pump. And it's got a little adjustment right here. So I'm gonna make a top that goes over this. And we're gonna use some of the stainless steel that are off, the, off of this grill and make a top. So let's just, uh, let's hop to it. Well, I was just going to cut these and leave them on here, but to make it easier, I'll, I guess I'll take them off. I may have destroyed these things in the, in the intro. Insert. Actually, I have an idea for this. Stay tuned for that one. Aha! Hmm. It says do not operate unless top cover open. Looks like somebody wasn't following directions. There we go. The rest is going to scrap along with a couple other things. I have always wanted to do that, but I think I woke up my kids. So I think I have enough here to build my top. Matter of fact, look how clean that looks. That's clean. We're going to have to get the plasma cutter fired up so I can cut my sizes. I'm probably going to have to butt weld some pieces together to make one solid sheet. Well, here we are. I got this thing tacked up. I had to take it to my shop at work. I got a little busy. So I had to cheat a little bit. We're at my home shop. We got the YWM 211P with a TIG torch. And we're gonna go to town. So I screwed up. 
And I thought about just throwing the footage away and making it seem like everything was all fine and dandy, but I decided not to do that. I figured this would be a good learning lesson for everybody. What I tried to do was when I had all this stuff together and butted up, it didn't fit perfectly. And instead of taking the time and fitting it so there was no gaps and there was no edges, I just butted it. I just tried to hurry it. And it didn't work out. Uh, I had a good run going for the first inch and then I kind of started cooking the stainless and burning through and I tried slowing down and turning the heat down, adding more filler and it just turned into one big mess. I thought maybe that I could throw it together and when I sand it down it'll look fine but uh, I can't let it go. So we're going to start over with this weld and instead of doing a butt weld I'm going to do a lap joint. Lap joints are a little easier to do especially if there's a tad bit of space and after doing some measurements, I realized that the lap joint is going to be to the back side of this water bowl anyways, so it's not going to matter all that much. So with that being said, I'm going to start over and do it right. I'm not 100% complete yet, but what I want to do is I want to take a grinder and I'm going to grind this piece off and go right along this line. After that, I'll be firing up that plasma cutter and cutting our circle. And I quite obviously need a little bit of practice. Not as good as I thought it was. So I got this backside all ground up. I clean it up a little bit. I'm going to finish getting these couple little spots and then I'll get this backside. It's on there it's one solid piece it's not pretty but i'll make it look better once we're done
Now it's just a matter of working that warp out and getting ready to cut it. Got my bowl. Flip this over. Put it where I want it. Draw my circle. And my marker is dead. At least that's enough for me to see. Alright, we have Cup 55 BS. I'm going to try and follow this line. Something tells me I'm not going to be able to, but I don't know until we try. good enough for me to get stuff packed down. Alright, I think I gotta work on this warp now. Well, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, yeah, it is. In all seriousness, I'm very impressed with this little machine. 30 amps, and the air pressure that I'm running at the time was roughly 20 to 25 PSI. Pretty good. I gotta do is I gotta create an inlet and an outlet. So I've got these two bar fittings here, and I got a small hole for the inlet, and I got a nice large hole for the outlet. So I gotta take a drill bit, drill my hole in the corner here on the lower side for the inlet, and then for the return, it's gonna be on the higher side. And I'm probably gonna have to tack these. And yes, these are stainless, so it's gonna be stainless on stainless, so I don't have to worry about any rust or corrosion or contamination of any sort. Now I'll show you what that looks like hopefully. Well, that'll have to do. Find a high side now. Now I just got to get the trim around it, silicone this up, and try it out. So this project was for me to practice my stainless TIG welding skills, which are obviously lacking a little bit. But now I know what to expect, and I know what I need to focus on. Plus my dog doesn't snorkel in his bowl anymore. So stay tuned. I have another stainless project coming soon, but this one is going to be just a little bit bigger. <laughs>